please, please, don't smash my camera. I won't if you promise to not make any more cargo carrier videos. I promise I won't. You promise what? I promise I won't make any more cargo carrier videos. What we're doing here, loading the carrier on the back of the car, getting it all set up. Now we're putting our load on there. Now we're covering it with the grill cover that I bought. Now I'm rolling it up so it doesn't drag the ground, tightening it around the bottom. Now we're putting a cargo net over the top of that so it can't flop and fly around. Now I'm taking the license plate off the car. And I'm mounting it on the little carrier using clevis pins. All right, this is the license plate bracket that I made. And it comes here and comes down around. I use clovis hitches so it's easy to take on and off. Now when you fold it up, of course it covers the plate on the car. Because you can't see through there. So I needed to do something. So what I did was, I brought the back, the bracket on around, and I put another bar across here. Now I can take the plate and put it on there. All right. So that works out really good. I got it both ways. If it's a light load, I just leave it on the car. Woo, B. I leave it on the car. If it's a heavy load. I do it like this. When I fold it up, I put it there. Works out really good. Now, one more thing I want to show you. Now, I also made some modification to our, our shower. The, the hose connector was up here. And when I picked it up, why well, it pinched my finger in there. And it's still sore from over a month ago when I pinched it. Because it, this thing gets heavy. You know, almost six gallons of water is heavy. So. I took out the connector and I put a patch on it. So what I did was I put the connector on a string, brought it up, screwed it down there. So you open this up, you just grab the string and go like that. There's no reason to have the connector come up through here. I mean, all you're doing here is taking a shower. It's not like you're going to drink this water. So it's just down in there. So I put a patch on that and I used that stuff you see on TV? Flex seal. Flex seal to seal this off. Took a piece of aluminum and uh, used flex seal. And if you let it cure, it works real well. Now, it also leaked here on these connectors. Now, as expensive as these things were, they should work, but they didn't. And so what I did here, and I think the problem was, is this is so thick you can't get a good tight connection. This thing is like a quarter inch thick. So what I did was, the connectors that hold it to the, go through and hold it to the tank, I used JB weld to weld those in. And then I used that flex seal, I put it on the, the wires, and then I pulled the wires through, and then I tightened the outside nut. That way now the thing is sealed for good. And it doesn't leak anymore but it leaked like a sieve before. So that's my two big updates. And everything's working real fine. We're getting ready to go on another camping drift. In the meantime, you keep your wheels turning. Thanks for watching and keep that shutter clicking. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Bye now.